And as a little girl, I always wondered what she did her because she was a technologist, a building technologist. These figures are so self-explanatory about what we should use. This is one of the projects that I designed and built myself over a five-acre campus close to one of South India's most important wetlands called the Ushteri Lake, which receives a large number of over 75 species of migratory birds from as far as Russia every November, December. Over here, the entire building from foundation to roof is built out of unfired earth and that too from the very site on which the building stands. So we dug out a reservoir, took the earth out of it and with that earth we created the entire five-acre complex. Less than 5% of building materials were actually bought from outside. You see these copper-colored pipes? They are bringing down all the rooftop rainwater which is coming on the curved arched roof, bringing it down along the pillars and we collect it in various ponds like this, both surface as well as underground. We use the rooftop harvested rainwater and then slowly passing through this bed of pipes. As this water keeps circulating throughout the day, it keeps absorbing heat from the building and keeps draining heat out of the building back into the sump. And over the sump, I've put a radiator of a truck where the water keeps flowing through those narrow tubes and a fan is blowing through the radiator and it expels all the additional heat out. So the water again comes down to 22 degrees Celsius for the following morning to start circulating in the floor again. This way, I was able to bring down the mean radiant temperature of the building in a place like Pondicherry below 30 degrees. If, if I were to achieve the same level of thermal comfort through air conditioning and use air, which is actually an insulator to conduct coolness, how much more energy it would have used. With a quarter HP pump, we are cooling the entire place where 500 people are sitting and there are no fans. And because the floors are so cool, people don't want to get up from the floor. 